Welcome all. Let's get to the point. So now we have this uh, little ship here, and we've just gotten started basically, and we're wondering what should we do now? Perhaps we've mined for a while right near the shop. We've got some credits built up a little bit, and so the, the question is, what's the best thing to do? Well, it's a game where you can do pretty much what you want, but what I would recommend is something that's pretty crucial to the game, and that's getting a jump drive set up. Whatever you decide to do in the game, you're going to want a jump drive most likely. So first thing we're going to do, we're out here in space as an astronaut, so I'm going to get into the ship first thing. Now again, we're in build mode and flight mode. So I'm going to go back to build mode. Remember we talked about that in the earlier tutorial, if you joined me then. Um, so here we are in build mode, and what we're going to have to do first is use some of these credits, and we're going to get ourselves a jump drive computer. So we want to hit B for buy. That'll bring up this uh, box here. And we'll go into the ship area and down to jump drive computer. Now you only need to buy one of these, so I'm going to purchase that. They typically run 30 to 60,000 credits. Uh, this is a fairly average price, and uh, so we're going to buy one of them. We also need to get the jump drive module, as you see here. So I am going to buy five of those because, while I'm not positive, it seems like it makes it go a little faster when you get five versus just one. Now, later in the game, on a smaller ship, you can buy a whole bunch of these, and that will help your jump drive to charge quicker. If you have a huge ship, uh, it's going to take a lot, a lot of them. So they take a lot of power and a lot of time to charge generally. And that brings me to the next thing. Remember, our little ship is ill-equipped. So we are also going to need a lot of power for this jump drive. So with uh, the cash I've, I have accumulated there, I am going to come over here to the general area in the shop and buy some power reactor modules. Now I'm going to start with about 20 of them right away because like I said it takes a lot of power. We're also going to want some power capacitors. Now what's the difference? These are basically uh, the amount of power, it, how fast it charges, how much juice you're putting into the system. These are kind of like banks, batteries. So you're going to want both uh, at first, especially, these are important. As your ship gets bigger and more powerful, these be the, uh, the banks up here, the modules become a lot more important, I feel anyway. These uh, become less, because at a certain point, your batteries are big enough. You need, you need uh, the charging ability. So let's buy, uh, let's get 10 of these. So I purchased those. Now we have what we should need. So we're going to come over here and uh, we're going to get the jump drive computer first. And I'm just going to put that, here's our other computer, Put it in, I'll put it near there, we don't have to. Texture's not working, remember this game's an alpha and uh, this is the fancier texture pack so uh, we don't have a texture right now but it works. So as you see it's orange so it's already selected as we talked about earlier and now we're going to take the jump drive modules and we're just going to place them any old place. And again, as you see, the important thing is the computer is orange, the modules are purple. So that means the computer is selected and these are bound to it. That's what we want. This will work. Come over here, hit C again to get rid of that. And now we have that laid out. Now, as I mentioned, we need more power. So I'm going to just start dropping pretty much any old place. power here and we'll lay all those out and then I'm also going to drop the capacitors okay so now we have a functioning jumpable ship so I'm gonna get into flight mode and what we have to do now is hit the T button again just like we did for our other computer, salvage computer, we need to hit T, pull the jump drive computer down to one of these active slots. Now when you do that, as you can see, it's all green. It needs to be charged. And this is where the power comes in. If you notice in the bottom right, you see the PW down there? That's the condition of our power. 
Now to charge this, I select it and hold down the left mouse button. Which I'm doing now, look at the power go down. So this is very much an underpowered ship. I'm going to use it up, let off the mouse, and it's going to have to recharge. So, as you can see, the more power the better, and especially with jump drives. Now while this is charging, let's hit our P button. That brings us to the universe. Now we've got this jump drive, we want to go cruising. And uh, we're going to go out there and kind of map out uh, some of our area here so we can find some shops and uh, some other things that might prove valuable. So we're going to have to learn how to jump. Now we're not really ready to go too far right away, so I'm going to think about coming into this sector right here. Now one thing to remember is you don't really want to select suns to jump to. Uh, if you do, make sure they're far away because you can jump right into a sun and most servers that causes damage. You can even kill your astronaut. The game Star Made it is made in such a way that it really punishes you for dying. So uh, you'll lose part of your credits and you will go back to your original spawn point if you get killed like that and your ship may very well be stuck in that sun. So be careful with that. Another word of caution is uh, if you don't know what kind of shop like you see these shops in here, see how they're undiscovered? Be careful with that, so if you select those and jump to them, it could be a pirate station and you're probably not ready yet to uh, take those uh, pirates on. So a couple words of caution. So what I'm going to do here, I want to go here, but I don't want to jump into the sun. So I'm actually going to select this sun, double click on it, and choose this button, plot path to current. You'll see a line light up now my course is set. Hit the P button again. Now you'll see in your arrows, notice the arrows around my cursor here. One is bright white. If we turn our ship there, there's our waypoint. 63 km, I'll never jump there. Typical jump is about 16 km. And now I have to, unfortunately, get this thing powered up. You can also just point your ship. If you know where you're going, you can just point your ship and jump too. But I tend to prefer waypoints because then I know exactly where I'm heading to. Another thing to keep in mind while we're charging, another useful piece of information, is the game is still in alpha. So, especially if you're on a little bit of a laggy game, uh, the server's lagging a little bit, you may hit your jump drive and it won't do anything. That happens once in a while. Uh, it may not be that there's anything wrong with your jump drive. It's just a bug uh, that seems to be in the game yet. So keep that in mind uh, when you try to jump. I've seen it where there's a laggy server and it can be kind of frustrating. But um, this is my server, so it's going to work, right? Well, actually, this is my own, uh, local computer at the moment. So let's give this a try. It's charged up. Notice number two. It's not green anymore. So what I'm going to do then is click the right button mouse button and away we go. Now as you saw we jumped maybe 16 km. Another word of caution, um, you see the jump drive is green again. Now I have to recharge it, that takes time. Just because you have a jump drive, don't think that's going to protect you generally from pirates. Uh, you're not invulnerable because of that you're thinking. I thought at first you could just jump away, but when you jump into these new systems and there's pirates there, it takes a long time to charge this, so it's not too useful for that. You need to really watch where you're going at first, especially until you get your big guns on your ship. And then uh, it's then you'll probably go looking for the pirates. But anyway, let's hit the P button one more time. And as you can see, I wanted to get into this sector. I selected that sector, and now I'm here. So what I would recommend is just kind of driving around, checking out these shops, and uh, when you get too close, just drive to them. So when you select things, you double click on them. You can kind of see how they turn a different color. And then pilot path to current changes it to that. Keep in mind your distance. And if need be, drive manually. So 18, I could probably jump to that one because we jump about 16. Uh, but keep these things in mind. Have a good one. Bye-bye.